it may not seem like it right now, but Thursday workdays in November were hot and sunny and action-packed. Take a look. I rounded up the harvest while Eric pruned the Eugenia trees behind the garage, which took all morning. I came out after lunch and spotted this huge spider, which had already captured prey. It had spun an enormous web from the fig tree to the orange tie. I checked on Eric's progress in the back. He pointed out this hummingbird nest he'd spotted in the camellias. I noticed the shredded paper woven into the nest from the package I opened the week before. We had a lot to accomplish in the afternoon. The first project was to plant more garlic. One of my subscribers, BJ Court from Louisiana, sent me three varieties of garlic. In keeping with my penchant for filling up every little bit of available space, I had Eric pull back the six inch deep wood chips from the long edges of the back 40 bed. Since we just had this narrow groove, I thought it would be better to lay in three inches of good soil in the trench rather than trying to loosen up the soil underneath the wood chips. I figured the wood chips would fall and get mixed up in the soil. This made it really easy to plant the garlic. I placed the cloves about five inches apart and pushed them down two inches and patted down the soil. Eric watered them in. Then we did the other side and pulled the wood chips over the dirt. Last, Eric added more chips to fill in the groove. I had Texas rose on one side and chestnut red on the other. The third variety got planted a week later. Next project. Okay, we've got a couple more babies. Little ones. We got a plant. Love these things. This had beans growing in it during the summer and it's all caked and hard and I want to reboot this to plant in it. And one of the big problems with this planter is that the water always went straight through because there's no holding tray. So I'm going to use a small Oya or Ola in there and that should really take care of it. But now we're looking through this soil and we see that the grubs have uh, buried into that. You've got one here, right? That's one. How many do you have? You have more? Oh, there's one. So the raccoons really missed out. That's just been sitting there. And um, could have easily dug into there. All right, we'll see how many we get. Oh. I'm gonna leave this by the driveway and these raccoons had better come and eat these tonight. Mm-hmm, there's at least 10 in there. Do you see how the soil in containers really gets compacted after a season and they, these wire screens really come in handy? We should have had the big one, Eric, so it doesn't all spill out. Yeah, that works much better. Oh, baby. Wow. <laughs> You'd think those grubs yeah, were baby. laying eggs and making babies in there, but that's not the way it works. A fig beetle had to lay the eggs, every single egg, to get every single one of those grubs. Once again, I added some azomite minerals and organic plant food to the mix. 
and we got it set up ready to plant. Ah, two more. This is one way I'm going to be saving on water and time is to use Oyas in these hard to get to areas and also in containers that leak the water out the bottom, such as this self-watering planter that got slightly dinged with our car and now it leaks. With the Oya, I will have a much better idea of when these plants need water. Fill the bottle and forget it for a week. That's a good level. Maybe they'll do better now, I don't know. The water won't just leak out the bottom. The wood chips keep the surface from drying out. I added ground eggshells and tea from my tea bags to add calcium and organic matter before closing up the wood chips. With the pruning job taking half the day, this was all we had time for. Come here. There are two hummingbirds, it must be a male and a female, and they must have a nest in that tree because every time I come out to my cozy corner, they're buzzing around like, don't you get too close. <laughs> I think it's clearing off. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this channel and sharing it with your friends. Please give me that like and I'll see you in the next video.